because I have felt losing. And I know that life doesn't always go the way you want it to. As well laid as your plans may be, sometimes life's going to kick you in the teeth. But you know something? On that day after the election, I got up. I wiped the blood off my face. My kids still loved me. My dog still loved me. And I got back up. And I went on about life. It didn't feel too good. Matter of fact, it hurt like hell. But I went on. Because I understood very clearly that just because you lose, that doesn't mean that the game is over. If you believe in, certainly in my situation, in what I thought I could offer to this community, but more importantly, what my message was. And that message was very simple. That message was that it was time to turn a page in Tampa's history. That if people wanted more of the same, if they wanted to continue to do things the way they've always done them, if they wanted to settle for being mediocre, then I wasn't their candidate. And I didn't want them to vote for me. But if they aspired to be the great city that we know that Tampa could be, if they were tired of losing their best and brightest, you, you, to Austin, Texas, to Raleigh, Durham, to Charlotte, North Carolina, to San Diego, and to Atlanta, if they were tired of that brain drain of our merit scholars leaving, my wife and I have two kids. They're six and they're ten. We're going to spend a lot of money and a lot of time educating them in the best schools that we can. But I can tell you one thing. I'm not educating them to go to Raleigh, Durham. I'm not educating them to go to Austin, Texas, because that's where the jobs are that warrant the education that they will get. So I started out on that journey. It was a hot summer. We knocked on 25,000 doors. Do you believe in this city? Do you believe in the capacity of this city to be great? When no one else would come out in the heat of that summer, we walked. And we walked. And we walked. And we walked through March 22nd of that next year. 25,000 houses. I've met every dog in the city of Tampa. <laughs> We ask people to believe. Believe in what this city could be. Believe in your generation. Believe in the capacity of us to be a great American city. You know, when I was your age, a little bit older, I got selected for Navy pilot training. Because that's what I really wanted to do, was fly jets off of aircraft carriage. I got selected for pilot training and went to Pensacola Naval Air Station. When I got down to Pensacola Naval Air Station, this is after passing all the Class A flight physicals, they diagnosed me as having a degeneration of one of my corneas. Obviously not a good thing for a fighter pilot. And they destroyed me. I had 300 bucks, 1966 Dodge Dart, with no air conditioning. I had one suit, and I had nowhere else to go. And I drove from Pensacola Naval Air Station to Tampa, Florida, where I had an old fraternity brother from Penn State. I wasn't born into anything, wasn't part of a crew, didn't know anybody, came from nothing. And I just started scratching and clawing my way through this political world here. 